Good day and welcome back to Cruising Off Duty. I am Craig. Well, if you've been watching the channel recently, you know I've been doing a lot of reviews of products that help you live off the grid more comfortably for longer. So whether you're a sailor, an RV or a camper, you live in a van down by the river, in a little cabin in the outback, no matter what, you need to learn how to have products that help you produce energy, store energy, convert it to the volts, amps and watts that you need, and then use it in the most efficient way possible. The first stage of all of that is of course how to produce energy and the most common way is solar panels. So today we're going to do a review of the All Powers 200 watt solar panel. Now I can talk all about its specs but and its price which is important because it is value priced but uh, you want to know what am I comparing this to? Well if you watch my previous episodes I've done a review of the 200 watt folding solar panel from Blue Eddy which blew me away. A lot of times when I record these preambles I haven't tested it yet, so I don't know what I'm going to find out. I did the test of this against a 200 watt Renergy glass panel, thinking they're both 200 watts. Let's see which one does better in the exact same conditions. Go back and watch that, because I was surprised to see a folding panel did better than a glass panel. Now, the 200 watt All Powers is much cheaper. So right now, as of the, as of the filming of this, I just checked, and the, uh, Ren uh, the All Powers one is... $279. The Blue Eddy is on sale right now for $449. Now I was sent this uh, by All Powers and they actually sent me a discount code for an additional 15% off, but sometimes those are time sensitive. So check in the description below if that's still available. I'll also put the Amazon links so you can compare buying straight from All Powers or buying from Amazon, which one may have a better deal at the time. It's always time sensitive. So these discount codes are good for the time that I'm posting this, but if you're watching this six months or a year later, maybe not, but check the description down below. So they are different in, in not only price, but in some of the technology. The Blue Eddy is a monocrystalline panel and the All Powers is a polycrystalline power panel. Now in a lot of cases, polycrystalline is considered to be the inferior technology, but they're both rated for 200 watts. So in theory, if it still gives out 200 watts in the same sun conditions, then all you care about is price, right? The only other thing is the coating. Uh, they are, this one is ETFE coated, which is the common uh, acronym you hear for that coating that makes it not haze over with age, scratch resistant, all that. The All Powers has one uh, coating called PET, which I haven't really heard of, but it says it's waterproof and all the same stuff that the Blue Eddy product claims. I just think ETFE might be more of the gold standard and PET is not something I'm used to. You can kind of see a difference too in the, in the panel itself. Uh, the, the Blue Eddy one has that kind of marbled look and the All Powers one is more of a smooth surface. So there you go. ETFE coating, PET coating. This is definitely smoother to the hand when you rub it. It's very smooth like glass. This is more like uh, those pebbled feeling. Uh, ETFE is supposed to keep that clear, transparent look for a lot longer, but let's be realistic here. These fold-out panels are not really designed, even though they say they're waterproof to rain and elements and yada, yada, yada. There's still a kind of a nylon cloth that allows it to fold. And if you just left this in your backyard 24 hours a day, seven days a week for years, of course the nylon will break down. And sure, this might stay clear, more clear than this maybe, if PET is not as good as ETFE but you shouldn't be leaving your folding panel out day and night no matter what. These are meant to be use as needed kind of panels, not the glass panels where you can mount them somewhere and just leave them and forget they're even out there. These are supposed to be something you take with you camping or uh, unfold if you're beside an RV to get some extra power. Maybe you have some glass panels on your RV on the roof, which are permanently there, and then these are just supplemental. Let's talk about other parts of the technology. This is 22% efficient claimed, and this is 23.4% efficient, which means the amount of solar energy it can track, uh, trap and send your battery. So in theory, this should outperform this. Again, haven't tested yet, so let's see. Is it a big enough difference to justify the fairly substantial percent jump in price? We'll see. Other than that, this one, the All Powers is a little lighter at 6.3 kilograms. And this one is 7.3 kilograms, so one kilogram heavier. Both of them, when you unfold them, are four panels. Um, this one's just a little bit thicker, a little bit heftier. Oh, another thing that might add some weight. On the back of both is the MC4 connectors. 
they look identical on this side. The only difference is this is longer. This is three meters long, which is a little over six feet. And I believe this one's only three feet long, which means if you're gonna put this to your solar generator, and that's what we will be plugging these into, is a solar generator. In this case, for the All Powers, I have the All Powers S2000, and I'm gonna plug both panels into this, see what it gets. And then I also have my Blue Eddy AC200 Max. I'm gonna see if the same two panels plugged into a different solar generator will get a different result. So yeah, you just take your <clears throat> MC4 connector to your solar panel and plug it into here. Now, if you're able to, beside like an RV or on a boat or something, put the panel right beside the solar generator, then maybe three feet's all you need. More likely six feet would be better. But if it's further than that anyway, you're gonna need an MC4 uh, extension cable to go from this to your solar generator. So whether you really want six feet or three feet, again, that might be a little bit of the weight difference and a little bit of the price difference. So with all that being said, they're supposed to be rated for 200 watts each. So let's go outside and see on a perfectly blue sunny day, which is rare this time of year, in March of 2023, we'll see uh, how, they, how they produce. And if this one can come close to the Blue Eddy at a much cheaper price, maybe that's all you need. And again, if you're gonna only unfold it when you need solar, then maybe the coding difference, if there is a preference for ETFE, isn't a huge deal because you won't leave it out there long enough for it to get aged. So there you go, something to consider. So let's go check it out. Okay, here we are. Not, per not perfectly set up. I gotta do the whole angle perfectly to the sun. If you have watched the previous episode, I do that soup can trick where as long as there's no shadow on the can, you're perfectly situated to the sun. Yes, that is snow in March. We live in Canada. I think this year was the second highest snowfall. So it's taking forever, even though I'm standing in a t-shirt, it's taking forever for the snow to melt. So the sun is, you know, it's not a perfectly blue sky. It's a sunny, hazy sky, just I'd let you know so we see the results. And I'm gonna be putting them into both solar generators. So this is the All Powers S2000, and that's the Blue Eddy. Now, some things I've noticed on it, the All Powers solar panel has four legs, one for each panel. The Blue Eddy only has three legs. They're just counting on the middle one just being suspended by the ones on either side. As you can see, the Blue Eddy comes with a really nice, thick, long MC4 cord. I said this one was three feet long, and I don't know, man. I don't think that's three feet long. Maybe barely, if you really, really pull on it. Like, I'd say two and a half feet long. Inside that bag, though, comes, you get a uh, MC4 to, I guess, battery connector, if you want to connect it directly to a battery, which I haven't really seen people do. And an MC4 to, I think it's an Anderson, the one with the colored cables, red and black. See that? I don't have anything that uses that, so I won't be using that cord, but it is what it is. And then of course the standard, uh, the standard XT60 for the all power solar generator and an XT90 that goes to a aviation plug, they call it, for the Blue Eddy. So a little bit of a different setup for each, but I want to test to see if the solar panels perform better with one solar generator over the other. So uh, let's get started. Okay. Well, it's slowing me down a bit. I cannot get the app for the All Powers S2000 to work. I wanted to show you the readout on my phone screen. It just will not work. I don't know, I've never had a problem connecting before, but now that I'm connected into solar, it is not connecting to the app. So you just have to go by the screen. I've been seeing anywhere from 131 watts to 136 for the S Powers plugged into the All Powers 200 watt solar panel. Now we'll do the Blue Eddy next. Okay, now with the Blue Eddy plugged in, and of course the cord is long enough, it actually makes it to the exact same spot. It is getting about 136. I was seeing 137. I was seeing 144 a second ago. 139, 141. So it's getting a little bit more than the L-Powers, which I, I kind of expected, but not a lot more, not a lot more. So I have the Blue Eddy plugged into the Blue Eddy just to see what the results are, and I can definitely do I can show it on this, but I'll also record it on the screen. 141 watts. So it seems to get a little bit more watts into the Blue Eddy than it was into 143, 144 watts. Okay, so now I have the A All Powers into the Blue Eddy, and I saw as high as 141, now it's down to 120. That's the problem with the hazy skies, is it sort of comes and goes. But 141, that's pretty damn good. That's pretty much exactly what I was seeing from the Blue Eddy, which was 138. Again, hazy kind of makes the sun not exactly the same at every moment. 
seems to almost be getting hazier too. So we take that into account. So they've both been really competitive on both solar generators. You know, maybe a watt or two more, because right now I'm seeing 128 from the all powers and I was seeing 138 from the Blue Eddy. But again, hazy skies could explain a lot of that. I'd say pretty comparable and for a much cheaper price for the all powers. So yay, good bang for the buck. So there you go. There was the testing of the all powers 200 watt versus the Blue Eddy 200 watt. I like doing this testing. If you're a manufacturer of any kind of off-grid product and you think it would be good for the channel, send it to me. I'll send you the email down below. I like doing these tests. It's fun for me to learn. Hopefully it's fun for you to learn. Things I didn't expect. Last time the Blue Eddy folding solar panel beat the glass panel, which I wasn't expecting. And this time I was expecting this to be vastly, well not vastly, inferior in terms of its output to the more much more expensive Blue Eddy product because of the 23.4% efficiency versus 22, you know, the higher ETFE coding versus PET, whatever that means. And I just figured you get more bang for your, you get more, you spend more, you get more. Um, but no, I mean, maybe a couple of watts difference between these two. I, I mean, it's hard to tell with the hazy sky, as I said. Hazy, it's like the suns get a little stronger, then a little weaker, a little sun. You look up, it's just haze, right? You don't know. So it's hard to say, but I would say they're very comparable. And considering this is much cheaper, I'll put the percent cheaper, and I'm giving you a discount code that works for at least a little while through all powers if you buy through them directly, this is definitely better bang for the buck. So let's go through the pros and the cons of the all powers. Price, that's the big pro. You're getting a lot for relatively cheap. Now, just so you know, this is uh, their, their um, monocrystalline, uh, and this is polycrystalline, but All Powers has a monocrystalline. They just didn't send it to me to test. I would be interested. So All Powers, if you're watching this, send me the monocrystalline and I'll compare it to the Blue Eddy as well, because then it would be a true apples to apples comparison. But really, this thing does pretty well. Um, so there you go. Pros, price, quality seems good. Uh, I mean, it's not as heavy, which could be a good thing. Uh, I don't know if you feel like sometimes heavier means more, more quality cells or whatever. And that ETF E coating versus PET will over time, and I won't be able to test this, over 10, five years of use, uh, you know, taking it out, putting it in, taking it out, will this break down quicker than this will? Hard to say, hard to say, but something to keep in mind. But if you're a camper or somebody that's using it sporadically when you need it, um, then something like this is perfect because you're probably never going to wear it out anyway. Um, now, if you're somewhere that you need it out all the time, then if you have to get a folding for whatever reason, then maybe the ETFE coating is worth the extra money uh, or just get yourself a glass panel. Then they can, you can leave them out there, rain, sun, shine, doesn't hail, doesn't matter. Some glass panels are built to, to last out in the elements. So pros are pretty much price, big, good bang for the buck. Con, I mentioned it a few times, that cord is just way too short. So either all Powers has to make their cord like three meters long like Blue Eddy, so you can actually get it to your solar generator. I mean, even if you're in an RV or something and you've got it beside your RV, you don't want your solar generator right out in the sun, right? So if this is in the sun and you have a two foot or three foot cord, then your solar generator has to be right out there beside your solar panel, which is in the sun. And I don't want to leave my solar generators in the sun to get, you know, baked. So either, all power should make it longer or they should include in their bag of cords that they give you a little MC4 connector extension cord, like a five foot, six foot extra. So you click onto the two and a half foot one that comes into the back. And I wonder if they didn't make it two and a half just to keep the weight down. So they could argue it's lighter and easier to carry if you're camping or portaging in a canoe or something and you throw this in, you gotta carry this around with you a little bit lighter is nice. So maybe the shorter cord was for keeping the weight down but you definitely need something bigger because you want your solar generator to be in the shade and you want your solar panel to be in the sun. So you need a little bit of room. Otherwise, you just go on Amazon or something and find an MC4 connector. They usually sell them in, in like 10 foot increments. You can get a 10 foot, a 20 foot, a 50 foot. Um, so just keep that in mind. With this one, you probably can get away with it. Six feet is long enough. Three meters is a little over six feet. So it's like six, almost seven feet. So you can get away with putting this in the sun. And if you can find a shady spot, near where sun is you can put the solar panel right beside like a tree or a bush and you put your solar generator in the in the shade and keep your solar panel in the sun you won't be able to do that with this so you'll have to buy yourself an extension cord that's the only negative i can see it speaks for itself the results 
it did just as well as the Blue Eddy. And also too, the S2000, as much as I couldn't get that app to work, um, I didn't see any difference between the MPPT controller in this versus the much more expensive, well, it's not in this room, the Blue Eddy. Um, this one was bringing in just as many watts from the solar panels as the Blue Eddy. So that means the MPPT controller in this is good. And again, I don't know what the glitch was with the app. I tried like seven, eight times. I even turned off the blue, uh, the Bluetooth on the front of this and all that. It didn't seem to make a difference. I don't know if it was because it was plugged into solar, it was getting some electrical interference and therefore the, the Bluetooth just couldn't connect to my phone. I'm literally standing right beside it. So it's not like the, <laughs> the Bluetooth couldn't reach me. So I don't know. But this isn't really a review, but the S2000, it's a review, but the solar panel. So yeah, I give it a thumbs up. I would definitely, if I didn't already own the Blue Eddy, and I saw this review, I'd probably get this because I'm planning to use this on my sailboat where I'll only pull it out as additional solar uh, to supplement my glass panels that are above my bimini. These, these folding ones are meant for, hey, it's really sunny, we're at anchor, I'd love to get a little bit more solar in, why don't I whip out the folding panel and plug it into one of my solar generators and add to my, my house bank, so to speak. So there you go. In that case, I don't need it that often. Might as well spend less to get to get more. So thumbs up. Good job, All Powers. Okay, and that's it. Until the next product review or until the summer finally starts, as you can see all the snow, it'll be a little bit yet. Um, then that'll be my next sailing episode. But until then, maybe I'll get more products to review. Hopefully you look forward to that sort of thing. Until next time, this is Craig signing off, wishing you safe cruising.